let's look at the best case scenario. Uh, Mark, Red Lamb in season, what are you looking for perfectly? In an ideal situation, you want the lamb to come out with uh, just using the, the sheep, pushing the lamb out on her own uh, without our assistance at all. The best position that the lamb needs to be in for that is for both of its legs to be uh, straight out in front with its head resting along its legs. Right, let's have a look, Lauren. So we want a couple of hooves, a couple of hooves, and a nose. And a nose yeah. Why it, is that so good? And why is that important? It's important because it makes it the, the lamb nice and streamlined. The the shoulders are much uh, much narrower, yes. uh, so it can pass through the birth can, birth canal a lot more easily. It also means that any of the sharp bits of uh, of the of the lamb, its hooves and its teeth are well and truly protected, Brilliant. so that it's not going to damage the, the the sheep as it comes out. So you said ideally we wouldn't have to intervene. Let's see if this lamb can come out by itself. Oh. Go on, lamb. <laughs> Let's not intervene, Mark. You've got to bear in mind that the sheep is actually doing the pushing and our well sheep done, can't sheep. do a great deal of pushing. This is good. Let's not help. Let's specifically not help. Do you want to make it harder? There we go. So all by itself, the lamb was in the perfect position. So here it is. Well done, lamb. That is best case scenario. <laughs> so to recap, the best case scenario is for the lamb to be facing forwards with its legs stretched out in front of it and its nose resting along its legs. This means the lamb is as streamlined as possible and the ewe should be able to give birth without any help from us. So, if there's only one arm presented, how do we deal with that, Mark? Right, if there's one leg presented, if there's one leg presented, um, we... <laughs> yeah, we'll demonstrate. So, Lauren, if you want to move forward with one leg behind. Now, what we need to try and do is to get, right. the, get the lamb into the right position. And you can see from here that the shoulders are a lot wider. Shoulders are wider. Uh, so it's more likely to get trapped and get trapped behind there. More likely to do some damage to the, the inside of the sheep because of that hoof being in I there. I see, so you look after lamb and after mum as well. well. Yeah, after both of them. We want a perfectly healthy, live birth and we want mum to recover quickly afterwards as well. So, so how would you remedy this, Mark? What would you do? You would gently try and push the lamb back inside the uterus, right. just gently. Then you would try and put your hand down the side of the lamb with a couple of fingers try and hook this leg forward so that you're bringing it forward into the right position and then hopefully the sheep will be able to deliver nat naturally and, and push out on its own. And you're back into that perfect position Back into now. that perfect um, streamlined position. So this time Mark, let's look at how you would help to to bring that lamb out. <laughs> if you were if you were going to pull out the lamb because sometimes the farm will need to pull out the lamb as well yeah. you'd pull it behind its hooves on its forelocks here uh, where you're less likely to do any damage to it Excellent. and gen gently pull using the, uh, the sheep at the same time. Uh, I'm don't I've worry too much about this lamb, it's pretty tough. <laughs> Give it a good yank. I don't want to drop Lauren on her nose oh, okay, though, enough, but we'll put, Lauren, put Lauren's hands on the floor. Okay. Nice okay, good. And out comes the lamb. So that is how we deal with <laughs> only one arm being presented. To recap, if one leg is pointing backwards rather than forwards, our farmer will gently manipulate the leg back into position by hooking two fingers behind the leg and bringing it forwards. So let's have a look at uh, what happens if both legs um, are hidden. Mark, what do we do then? Okay, if both legs are bent backwards, all it will pre present is the, is the lamb's nose, basically. Uh, you can see uh, from this angle that the, the shoulders are wider apart. You really can see, can't you? You can see before there was quite a considerable gap around yep. the side, completely full now. Yep. This is a big lamb. It's a big lamb and it also mean, mean that the ewe will probably be lambing for quite some time, she'll be getting very tired and it'll be a lot harder for her to right. push out. Sure. So again, what we need to do is to gently try and push the, the lamb back inside, not, not by its shoulders, you push it, push it through here, uh, and then try and hook your hands around the side to hook these legs forwards into both into the right position. Right, so from that position, it is still possible then, Mark, yep. to return to this, this perfect position. It is. You will need to push the lamb slightly back inside the uterus so that you've got enough space to manoeuvre those legs back out of the way. Sure. Uh, well, back, back the, the correct way, not backwards, uh, to move them forwards. But that is, is quite easy to do. Um, People who've got smaller hands uh, will obviously find that job easier. Sure, absolutely. Um, so quite often female shepherds actually do a better job than, uh, than men in, in these sorts I'm of situations. I'm sure that is true, yeah. Um, so my favourite part then, uh, let's get this lamb out. Let's get this lamb out. So we would pull it, if she can't push herself, we use her pushes and our pulls to pull her out. I I'll see, lower so you this time lamb. your pulls with her, with her pushes. Yeah, you want, her to, you want her to help, but you're, usually once you've got it to that stage, it will come out straight away. Great, so in theory then, both arms Hold behind on. is something we can deal with. To recap, when two legs are pointing backwards, our farmer will gently push the lamb back into the birth canal. This makes space to hook both legs back into the best position, outstretched in front of the nose. So let's have a look at what happens if the lamb's head is stuck backwards. 
Mark, is this one a bit more difficult? This one's a bit more difficult because all you'll get presented are a pair of hooves sticking out and you won't be able to see the head at all. And the okay, neck, so this, ignore this, that real ignore head. Ignore Lauren's head. Yeah. So the, the, the lamb's head is twisted backwards. Right. Uh, obviously that's going to be uh, more problematic to both the sheep and the lamb um, and can cause distress to both of them. And it so, clearly changes that um, streamlined yeah. pose, doesn't it? Yeah, there? very much. A real blockage. And another issue that we've got is that the lamb's teeth um, can also cause difficulty to the to the to the uh, inside of the sheep. So how how do you deal with this one then? What do you do? Again, keeping hold of the the legs, gently push the lamb back inside so you've got some room to manoeuvre. Right. And if you can, you can hook your hand around the the back of the lamb's ears and just gently uh, manoeuvre the head into the right position. Back into that position, right. What if you can't get the head forward? If you can't do that, you can deliver it with its head backwards and just sort of using your hand to guide down the side um, and to sort of broaden up the, the, uh, the birth canal as you, as you pull the, the lamb out. Okay, let's see that. So you'd pull it so round this like this way. Supporting the head. Supporting the head around the back of the ears and just making sure that you've got the sort of make the muzzle cupped in your hands and, and pull. There we go. And once and you've we got go. that head out, then we're back go. in that same position. Out and then we can. Nice <laughs> well, I say nice and easy. I'm not sure. Lauren I'm not sure Lauren thinks it's quite as easy as that. <laughs> okay, excellent. Here's the lamb. So again, we can help out. The head is stuck behind. To recap, the farmer will try to pull the head forwards back into the prime position. If this is not possible, the farmer will pull his fingers behind the lamb's neck for support as the lamb is born. So let's have a look. What happens if the lamb is backwards? Uh, Mark. Okay, uh, a lamb can uh, can come out perfectly normally if it's if it's rearward facing right. as long as both of its its back legs and tail are facing the right direction it's got ticklish feet this lamb um, so if it presents with its back legs facing backwards and you can see its tail that it, the sheep can probably give birth normally and it can come out that way normally. so actually i know it's not ideal but it's still pretty streamlined isn't it it's still pretty streamlined um, it's it's less common but it's it's acceptable if you like um, so the lamb will come out normally this way. I'll give this lamb a. Not necessarily. You Great, may okay. you may have to help. If you do have to help, the when you, when the lamb comes out, it's important that because the head's been in inside for longer that you clean any mucus from around the mouth and the nose just to make sure it's breathing properly Absolutely. before it comes out. Great. So normally, feet first and head first is the best way. But that is an acceptable way for a, for a lamb to be born, okay. and hopefully it shouldn't get into any uh, any major difficulties if she's giving birth that direction. Okay. If the lamb's backwards, we can still do it. Excellent. To recap, when the lamb is backwards, the farmer will pull it out by its hind legs. As soon as it is born, it is important to ensure its airways are clear. Right, now we're going to learn about um, a breech birth. It's a bit more serious. What is it all about, Mark? Uh, with a breech birth, um, it's presenting rearwards, so it's coming out bottom end first, but its legs, its rear legs, are facing back towards the head of the sheep. So, so no head and no hooves at all on no, display here. All, all that's coming out is its bottom first. Right. So it's much more difficult for the, for the sheep to, uh, to give birth that way. Um, we've got to try and put it into a proper birthing position to get it out. Right. What we can't do, or shouldn't do, is try and turn the sheep all the way around, turn the lamb all the way around. So we can't push the lamb back in, try and meet, re-manipulate it so it's head first. Interesting. We, we'll have to birth it rearwards with the, with the rear feet first. So in this situation, that perfect position is not going to be possible. No. What can you do instead, Mark? Instead, we can push the lamb back in as, as far as possible. So okay, push it back part way into the uterus. Yeah. Put, put our hand inside and try and reach around the, the rear legs and hook those rear legs backwards. It's kind of impossible for Lauren to do this because this is just going to happen her, right her, now. Her she's pelvis is slightly different to a sheep's pelvis, so it probably won't work. But she's oh, doing oh no, really well. did. you'll have to pretend that that was my hand realigning re so it. Push them back in and you rearrange re their feet them back into a streamline, and we position. can pull them out. Well done, Lauren. Have a few deep breaths, and hopefully we'll You're have right. a happy ending yeah. with that one. Okay, yeah. fingers crossed. Then. So that one's a bit more hard work, but really, we'll give it everything we can to help out yep. if that happens. Yep. So that one was a breech birth. If the lamb is breached, the farmer will push it back towards the birth canal, bring the hind legs forward, and use them to pull the lamb out. Then, immediately, the farmer will ensure airways are clear. Right. So let's look at what happens if it's a particularly large lamb, a large-headed lamb in this case. Mark, what do we do? Well. We've got Lauren in here at the moment. Um, Lauren is a pretty standard sized lamb as uh, proportionate yep. to everything else. So I don't think she's much good for demonstrating this particular one. So I think we need a larger lamb. I know what you're saying, I know where you're going. I think we can imagine she's large. No, no, I definitely think we need a larger lamb. Anthony, How you're our say, larger lamb. When it was a large lamb <laughs> section, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> right. How hard could it be? I, I, I'm sure it'll be a piece of cake. So. Okay. English Obviously, lamb. this lamb is significantly larger than our, our standard lamb, so if the, if the lamb goes in in the normal position, 
uh, which we hope that it will get into. So oh, both goodness. arms forwards. Um, oh goodness! Great. There we go. So it's presenting with both of its uh, both of its hooves outside. It says there's a lot of wriggling around at the oh, back over there. It's struggling a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's struggling. Well, how do you think the sheep feels? Okay, so this, in this position, the sheep is going to have great problems uh, giving birth to this uh, this lamb without any any assistance. So what we need to try and do is try and make it a little bit more streamlined because that lamb is well and truly wedged in there. It's got such a massive head. It actually is. So what we need to try and do is to put the pull both legs alternatively, alternately, so that we've got one further back than the other. Uh, and that stretching the, the legs in, uh, slightly apart like that will make the, the shoulders more streamlined so it should be possible to pull the lamb out. You may also need to put your hand inside. Oh goodness, he's pushing. <laughs> reach, Go on, then. reach around the back of the lamb's ears and just guide its head out as well, which will also slightly widen the birth on, canal. We can do so this. we'll try and do it now. Can come on, get it lamb. Oh, come on lamb, oh, out you come, oh. out you come. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Oh goodness! Oh no! Oh, that was worse. <laughs> and there we have <laughs> a live birth, hopefully, <laughs> the miracle of Mother Nature. That's what happens. <laughs> lamb's too big. If the lamb has a particularly large head, we can help the ewe. The farmer will hold the legs together in one hand and gently manipulate the ewe with the other. Right. So we're going to tell you how we deal with a lamb with large shoulders. Mark? Yes, Anthony. <laughs> How are we going to do that? We're going to need a large lamb to start with, and I'm surprise, afraid that's surprise. down to you again. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> so if you get, if you get into our machine... Large shoulders. Large shoulders, yeah. Shouldn't take long. <laughs> Standard position. Standard position. Now, if you're assisting a, uh, a lamb when it's coming out, you normally pull downwards uh, as the lamb comes out. In this instance, let's move that a bit out of the way so we can see. In this instance, we're trying to, trying to wiggle the lamb forwards and, and narrow its shoulders at the same time. So instead of pulling downwards on both, uh, both legs, thank you, we will uh, we'll pull alternatively on oh, the legs to sort of wiggle the lamb forward like that. Oh, that works. And it works, and hopefully it should stop us getting stuck. No. <laughs> Keep going. Push Lauren. Oh, look and at hopefully me. our so lamb will come out. Whee! <laughs> Who heard that ripping noise? <laughs> That one was a lamb with the big shoulders. <laughs> to recap, we can help the ewe to give birth to a large shouldered lamb by gently pulling the lamb by the legs from left to right. Right, there's a good chance that our ewes will have more than one lamb. Uh, Mark, how does that affect the process? Uh, it doesn't make a great deal of difference. We just need to make sure that um, we, after 10, 10 minutes or so, that we're just keeping an eye out for a second lamb coming through. Right. Uh, hopefully they'll present in the normal way. Uh, feet out in front, heads along the line of their legs. Okay, so um, let's get lamb number one, shall we, okay. out of the way. So hopefully it will lamb normally and the sheep will just, uh, I'll give the lamb a little bit of a hand. Yeah. Right, can you manage down, down there, Lord? There we go. So, and then hopefully then we'll, we'll just uh, clean this one up, make sure it's breathing properly and then hopefully about 10 minutes later, yeah. the second lamb will come along, um, won't have any this problems with presentation. Do you want to calm down a bit, lamb? You hold your horses, lamb. Um, so now what could happen then, Mark? So if there's a, a large lamb comes out, what would that normally mean? That there's probably not going to be a second? Um, it, it, will, it will depend very much. I mean, out of the, the lambs that we've got, we're lambing about 45 ewes uh, this year, yeah. and we hope to get 90 lambs. So we'll get some singles, we will get some, uh, some twins, and we'll get some triplets. Excellent. So in this case, we've got twins. Yeah, um, now, there's sometimes quite a large gap in between. There wasn't yep. a very large gap. No, was, 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 this one followed through so, quite quickly. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Usually quite a bit longer than that. Usually about 10, okay. minutes, about 10 minutes between lambs. Now this one, let's say it has been in for a bit longer. Yeah. Um, now, it, uh, it's really important, I guess, that we check airways and that Yeah, sort of we just check yeah. it, make sure there's no mucus blocking its airways when it comes out. Make right, sure it's you pull on your properly, plonker. So we can pull this one out. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a wriggly giggly alarm, this one. Okay, so then we'll just check, check that it's uh, breathing properly and it'll be up on its feet in no time Wonderful. and off to its mum. So, twin lambs, uh, quite common. Let's hope we get a few as well.